Hello, my name is Hello Pral. I am a Starboard team writer and today I am going to show you the new foil board from Starboard, the Millennium. It just ups your level instantly, um, which is quite amazing. The Millennium board is one meter wide, which makes it perfect for upwind and downwind foiling. It just makes it way more comfortable to go upwind and it gives you so much stability and lift that I can't find in any other board. If you are looking to up your foiling game, I would fully recommend to get this one because it is a game changer and it will make your foiling life so much easier. The Millennium is also an air inside concept, which means that there is a lot of air in here, which also makes it a super light board, which is very, very convenient because you don't really want a lot of weight in your board. You will notice that they have this weird thing. Um, it's a vent and it's very important to close it before going out on the water, but also to open it when you get in from the water. For the foot straps, I like to keep them very close together because then I get a better upright stance, um, which is nice. So I would usually have this back foot strap all the way to the front and then I kind of play around with the front foot strap. If it's very easy conditions, I'll put it all the way to the back and, and if it's a bit more challenging conditions, I'll have it one uh, step from the back. Uh, this is fully personal. I know a lot of people like to have their foot straps in a lot of different ways, but this is how I like to do it. And if you have short legs, it's also nice to have them close together. So that's a little hack. For the mast base, I like to keep it as far to the back as possible because I like to have the rig a bit closer to me. And um, I feel like it just makes the stance better. But if I am very overpowered and I have depowered my sail as much as possible, I will take the mass base a bit further, but I generally like to keep it quite far in the back. Break, I like to play around with it a little bit. I will go all the way from one degree to two degrees. Um, right now here in Garda, I've settled for 1.7, which is quite a lot, but it's quite comfortable. Um, if it's super easy conditions, I'll normally go down a little bit in rake. You just have to play around with the rake and find whatever suits you and what you feel com more comfortable with. But the general rule is that the easier conditions, the lower rake, and the harder conditions, the higher rake. I'm here in Garda sailing the Formula Foil World Championships and I'm using the Starboard Evolution Foil, uh, which I have liked a lot. The mass is 95. It's very stiff, which makes it super easy to control. I am also using the Starboard Evolution fuselage and wings. And I'm using the 109 fuselage, the 180 back wing and the 880 front wing, which I found to be a very good setup. It is easy to use and you can use it in quite a lot of different and variety of conditions. I'm also using the Zero Back Shin. I would use 0.5 if it's super, super light. This board is by far the best foiling board I have ever had. The control and the lift and the stability is just amazing. I would fully recommend you to get this board if you're looking out to up your foiling game. I hope you like this video. Make sure to check out Starboard Windsurfing's YouTube channel if you want more videos like this. Hey!